morning. We're off to Coldstream today for some golf with Dan. Yep, off to Cold Street for some golf with Dan. Weather's great. And uh, looking forward to some golf. It's been ages, absolutely ages since I've played some golf, so gonna go and see what happens. He could win the Premier League title on Friday. Right guys, we've made it to the Herschel Golf Club. Dan's in the background. Morning Dan. Morning. All well? Yeah, good thanks. Excellent. We're going to play, how many holes are we playing? Play six hole match. Six hole match. Just, parts on each. just match play. We'll do first part on my channel, obviously. So one, two, three. We're we'll starting the second tee second, here, Dan. This is the second tee. This is the second tee, par four. So we'll play the first three holes on my channel. Then we'll skip over to Dan's channel, which is Daniel Wood. Daniel Wood Golf. Daniel Wood Golf, and you'll get part two on there. So let's go. What you got, Dan? Two. Two iron. What have we got? Par 4, 290. Pretty tight though. Very tight, yeah. Yeah, well done. Solid. Right, Steve, uh, also out with an iron there. Yeah, I've got four iron. Four iron, yeah. Again, this is just a positional shot. Uh, sometimes we do wing driver at it, but you know, if, if you don't pull it off, you are pretty stymied in the trees. Shame about the weather, Dan. Yeah, freezing cold. Freezing cold. Tiny bit left, but okay. Should stay short of that tree. Yep, no problem, you'll get a wedge on that. Cool. Off we go. Okay, so just down the left hand side and you can see Steve's ball. He's only a matter of two, three yards off the fairway, but the pin is just hidden. If I do a little zoom edge, it's just hidden round there. So, not the easiest shot to get this close. On the green would be a good shot, I think, Steve. Yeah. 74 yards to the pin, is that right? Uh, yeah, maybe. I didn't think it'd be quite as far as that. So. Little hooky one? No. Just playing it out. Yeah. Oh, he's found a gap. Awesome golf shot. Yep, very good. Anywhere on the green, yep. right, Very it? good, well done. Right, Dan's second shot, the first uh, second hole, uh, first hole. Dan's blitz a two iron up there. Juicy lie, you just said, Dan. Hey, juicy. Opened up the green, just yeah. what you half a yard off the fairway. I'm just over there on the right, I managed to sneak onto the green from that line. Oh, down. Just on the left. I just pulled it a fraction. Yeah, just on the left edge. I know. Right, here we go. So, Steve, pin high, good shot from where he was, putting straight back downhill here. A little bit right to left from, uh, from memory. Hard lines, but look at it go. It's incredible. Slick here at the Hersault. Pretty good effort though, Steve. I, I honestly thought that was dead. <laughs> <laughs> so Dan's learnt from that, I guess. That was really quick down the eye. I honestly thought that was either hold or dead. Dan's back up the hill. Left to right on this, Dan? Yeah, a little bit left to right. Depends how it comes through the fringe. Yeah, it's coming off the fringe, so a couple of changes of pace here. Just 
trying to go back down beside the mine. Good. Okay. Excellent, well done. Easy for it. So I didn't expect that to go this far past, man. Huh? So yeah, this time back up the hill this time. It just kept going, didn't it? Yeah, it's so quick. I knew when I hit my second shot slightly left, it was always just going to feed left and off the green. And just like that, a short hole, 300 yards, claims its first victim. So one up to myself, on to the third hole here at the Hersel. Okay, so I'm one down. This is our next hole, through the trees there. This is a par three, blind par three. And to make it even trickier, I mean, blind par three's hard enough. We're playing from white tees. I think we played from the red, yellow in the last one. 243 yards, par three. Dan, your course is too long for me. 243 yard par 3 It's all downhill though, it's all downhill after the crest It's all downhill once you carry it 100 once feet uphill It's all downhill, everything feeds down into the game Right What are you hitting Dan? Two, I've got my 2 iron here again 2 iron, par 3, ripping 2 iron, wow Oh no Yeah it's good, well done Okay, Steve now, club of choice here, Steve. I've got three iron. He's got his three iron. You can see the view looking away up there. It is mega tight here. Probably plays one of the hardest holes in the course. Oh, gorgeous shot there. Just right of the pole, probably finish right hand corner of the green there. Good shot. Down at the green, you can see after you get over the hill, it all falls back downhill. My ball's just short at the front edge there, and Steve's just off the right edge. Not a bad bit to be, though. Yeah, I knew I leaked it like right a little bit, but it's, it's alright. Yeah, back up the hill, slightly left to right. Go a little bit. Great line, just a little shy in peace. <laughs> right, Dan, just short. Good strike. Uh, yeah, it's an awkward little one. I can't. It... Just a little bit hairy for me to put that. Yeah. Big swing from left to right. A tough hole, isn't it? Yeah. Tough par three. Actually, a par four. <laughs> Yeah, I just sneaked by a little bit, didn't it? Just kept going. Right, here we go. Steve putting back up the hill uh, for his par after chip shot came up a little bit shy. A little bit left to right up the hill. Maybe just on that edge of the cup. Yeah, oh, there we go. Great putt. Good save. Thank you. Well done. Part of the cup. Right, Dan's left himself this for par, it's downhill, it's quick right to left, Dan. Yeah, it's outside the hole from this distance. Is it, honestly? I'm aiming outside the hole. This is quick. Oh, well done, very confident. That was about nine feet past, Dan. Yeah, well, I had to <laughs> hold it for the half. Brilliant. I think if I'd been playing competitively, it would have been a little twitcher and just dribble it in there. Tickle in the front edge. Tickle it in. So you're still one up? One up, yeah. After two? After two holes, on to the fourth hole. Perfect. Okay, fourth hole, this is our third hole. 310, off the white tees. Dan, where are we going? So, you can see the black and white pole, red top on it there. Straight above that, there's a big V in the trees at the top. Yep, see it, got the it. shape it creates, that's the line of the green down here. Okay. Bunker left and right. So 310 downhill, you yeah, we're getting there, no get close to green? That, yeah. Right, cool. So we're hitting driver. Dan's instructed, right. Dan's instructed me, you must hit driver here. Yeah. Right, right, okay. Eagle channel. Oh, that's the line. Oh, be good. That's right on the V. Be good. Excellent, well done. Okay, so Steve following up now, going in the distance driver, going at the green, 
that's the line there. Some drive you just hit yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. It should be in and around the green. Yeah, good one there from Steve as well. Just drifting slightly right, might be about the front right bunker. No danger there, so good. Okay, Steve's come up just shy here. Uh, not too tough to go actually. There's a lot of green over that bunker. We've just watered that green down. Is this going to slow it down? Yeah, I would imagine so. I don't think you can land that up the top, it's a two tier green here, so you've got to hit us in a little low skidder. So land it over the bunker and let it run up. Skid up, yeah, and let it chase up that little tier you'll see in the green. Pretty good. Ah, oh, what a golf shot. Oh, sorry about the zoomage there. Great shot. There's the man that watered the green. The green's just been hand watered here. Excellent. So Dan, front edge. Yeah. Hold on, let me get let me get right in here. In about me. In about you. Good drive. Yeah, quite happy with that one. Good line. Now, normally I'd look at firing this in, but there's so much water lying here. I'm going to try and go a bit more, a bit more aerial. Okay, you're going to land it on the back tier, or I'm going to try, yeah. Try and land it in the back tier. Okay. A bit more high tar shot. Clearly, you're one up. <laughs> Got away with it, just landed a little bit shy where I wanted yeah. to. Yeah. Good, good effort though. So there's Dan. What you got Dan? 20 feet or so? Yeah, just had to carry that about another two or three yards in the air to be honest. Yeah, just never quite carried it far enough. That's for birdie though. Up the slope. Just stayed yeah, there, didn't it? Just there, to be honest. Yeah. Easy yeah, four. there, yeah, four. You can see back. Waste of a good drive. Waste of a good drive. You can see back up the fairway there where we teed off from. Cracking hole. Good four. Okay, so to level the game here, whenever he's ready. Okay, here we go. So uh, Steve now to draw level and finish both all square through the first three holes in part one. Ah, cracking birdie. Yes. There you go, Steve. Birdie's the fourth hole here to draw the match all square. Brilliant. And uh, we'll jump over to my channel now for part two, Steve. Yes, I head to Dan's channel, Daniel Wood Golf. Yep. On YouTube, subscription for that's free. Um, I'd just like to thank the hustle. Thanks, Dan. Yep. For the first awesome. two holes. And as I say, over to Dan's channel now and we'll get cracking. Perfect. All square. We'll catch you there. Boom.